Okay, so we are solving the question number 12 for the reaction involving gases A plus 2 moles of B, reversible arrow 2 moles of C plus 3 moles of D. Which of the following plots is qualitatively correct? Kp and Kc are the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure and concentration respectively. T is the absolute temperature. So if we write the expression for Kp, Kc, we will say Kp equal to Kc RT del N. Del N means a number of moles of products minus a number of moles of reactants okay so if you write the equation over here we say Hence, delta N over here is going to be 5 minus 3 and that should be equal to 2. So, Kp we should write as in Kc RT whole square or Kp by Kc equal to RT times t okay so what we can see is as we increase the value of temperature the value of kp by kc should also increase okay and the only graph that can satisfy this equation is going to be equation number a next the Van der Waals equation for a real gas is given by P plus A above V square times V minus B equal to RT. So the dimension of A, if we have to find, we will say A above V square equal to P correction. That means this should be A ATM liter square. For B, it should be V correction term. So, this is B equal to liter and hence we say A by B equal to ATM liter square by liter or ATM liter which means joules which means ML square T to the power minus 2. Option A is the correct option. 2 gram of naphthenoic acid, molecular weight 172 gram per mole dissolved in 20 ml of benzene shows a freezing point depression of 2 Kelvin. For benzene, the freezing point depression constant K sub XF equal to 5 Kelvin kg per mole and the density is 0 0.88 gram per milliliter what is the magnitude of the van der factor so for this we will be using the equation delta t i k suffix m what is m m is the molality which is number of moles by the mass of solvent in kg and this is number of moles of what number of moles of solute how do we calculate that <clears throat> so we say m equal to 2 gram by 172 gram per mole times 1000 and what is the volume this what is the density this so 
20 into 0 0.88 okay this will be the mass of the solvent in gram and as you divide this by 1000 it becomes in kg okay that is what the formula says now if you have to calculate i what we will say we will say i equals delta t k f m and that should be 2 by 5 into 2 into 1000 into 172 into 20 into 0 0.88 and that comes out to be as 0 0.065 so that is the value of i okay and then we have the last question identify the correct order of the molecules with respect to the magnitude of the dipole moment first thing one should remember that whenever the dipoles are lying at 180 degree they will cancel out each other so over here dipole moment should be zero in all the other options we see the molecule these ones they are all having non-zero dipole moment okay so these options cannot be correct okay see the other logic is if you have to compare the dipole moment of this one and that one this angle over here is 60 this angle over here it is 120 and we know the resultant of these two dipole moments let's call this to be as mu r should be mu 1 plus mu 1 mu 1 square plus mu 1 square plus 2 mu 1 mu 1 cos 60 and this should be coming out to be as root 3 mu 1 for this molecule it will be mu r mod square mu 1 square mu 2 square sorry another mu 1 square 2 mu 1 mu 1 cos 120 Hmm. and that we should expect to be as mu1 square plus mu1 1 square minus mu1 square so this and this gone so it would be the mu r will be equal to mu 1 only okay so obviously this value is greater than this one okay and over here for the difluoro we know the mu r resultant is going to be 0 now if we compare the uh, cf and uh, CCL bond polarity of the CF bond is more so that's why the ortho difluorobenzene is much more polar than the ortho dichlorobenzene and hence the answer over here is going to be always same. 